Hey, what's up? It's Omari Harriman from sqspthemes.com. And today's video is a breakdown comparison between two popular website builders, Squarespace and Weebly. Now, if you know me, I am a Squarespace guy. Um, I've, been I've been building Squarespace sites uh, for a number of years now. Um, but Weebly is something that I've never really played with. And so um, I wanted to really just do a, uh, a I, I want to call this a stare and compare. Um, and I'm really just going to quickly onboard you on, on both platforms so you can see for yourself um, which one is going to be easier to use um, or more in line with your needs, really. And so uh, you can see here, um, the first thing that's, that's different um, between Squarespace and Weebly is just how you get started. So with Squarespace, the very first step is to just choose a template. This is your starting point. Um, everything else falls off of this. So before you even sign up, um, you get the benefit of, you know, before you even sign up for a free trial or something, uh, you can pick a starting point and you can, you can get started. So we're going to make an online store for this simple demo, and I'm going to start with uh, the Crosby template. And that's going to load. And so while that's loading, um, let's look at Weebly. So with Weebly, it's a little bit different. Um, there are some templates here, but you can't just start with a template. Uh, the very first thing you have to do is you have to sign up. Um, so luckily, I've already signed up. Uh, so I'm going to just log in and show you your very first or what you see first, which is a dashboard. And from this dashboard here, you can create a new site. So let me, let me just show you that new site process what that looks like so here it is you can create just a website or an online store and I've gone through both and they seem to be pretty much the same but we'll pick online store here because we went the same route on Squarespace and I'm gonna then name it um, demo. all right are you currently selling any items I'm um, just trying out Weebly. What types of items will you be selling? Um, pots, home and linen. There you go. Almost done. What's your store address? Skip that. Okay, so now my store is being built over here. Let's jump back over to Squarespace and I'll call this my demo square. Um, and then this is just a really quick, you know, getting started. So this is my Squarespace starting point. Um, on my left here, you've got the menu where you can go to look at your pages. Um, you can go and tweak the design. You can check out your commerce, your products, um, your sales, all of that. Some marketing tools built in, some scheduling tools built in, some analytics, and then some, some more settings. So that's that. Um, let's jump back to Weebly really quick. So I've created my demo Wee page, and I have to go down here to Website, Overview, um, and now this takes me to my website editor. So a couple of things. Um, all right, I'll just walk you through it. So get started. Um, I can pick some features that I want to have. Let's say I want to show uh, a contact form. Boom. Um, if I want to display some testimonials right there. Uh, let's say I want to highlight a favorite item. All right, cool. So I just selected a bunch of you know random features that I think I would want um, and now I can upload my logo we'll skip that and we can pick a style so uh, this is an, a broad stroke type of thing um, you know from the font style and then let's switch the color so let's go vintage and okay there we go and hit finish um, and then I can set up my domain I'll do that later and I'm gonna dismiss these things. All right, so now I'm, I'm, I'm actually in the, the editor here and I can go to any one of these sections and each section has a number of things that I can change. So the style allows me to perhaps add an image um, or change the height of the section, uh, the action button, you know, I can change 
size of this as well, where it links to, of course, the, the banner headline. Um, and, and similarly for each section. So this is all a really simple section-based style. Let's go up to the header. I'll show you that. Uh, again, similar. I can change the layout. Um, I can change the navigation. You know, let's move this around so we want to make the shop. Um, oh, well, look at that. I made the shop uh, sub-menu. Um, there we go. It's now a sub-menu. Didn't know you can do that. All right. So, you know, you can, you can see how you can really quickly, using Weebly, uh, just put a site together. You know, literally construct a site with, with just adding these sections that are uh, have different layouts um, and different little things that you can tweak but you can't drag and drop anything so I have a separate video on Weebly for designers which is actually a, uh, a separate product built uh, by Weebly um, and it allows for a lot more uh, flexibility in that regard uh, but this standard you know out the box Weebly create in the store it does not let you edit HTML or CSS. So if you want to be able to do that, um, this is not going to be the the path for you. Um, but if you just you know really want to be able to quickly put together a decent site, then this there's a good shot that this might um, that this might work out for you. Now another thing or a, a feature that I think is is huge is you can't create a blog with Weebly, as in this version that I'm looking at. Um, if you and I reached out to their support to figure you know figure this out, it just seemed kind of like an odd thing not to have. Um, and they said you know you can you can embed a blog from somewhere else. Uh, I don't know if you'd want to do that. That doesn't really seem the best route for me. But if you if you need a store that doesn't have a blog, then you know Weebly might be your your pick. So let's jump back over to Squarespace. And we are now in Squarespace 7.1. Uh, and I'm now in edit mode here where I can similarly, I can add sections. <coughs> All right, so, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. All right, so if I want to add a newsletter here, where I can pick the style. Um, and boom, <coughs> now I've got my newsletter. Let's see, let's add. Uh, another section. Um, so add pricing. All right. So, say I want to do this style. There you go. All right. So I'm gonna. And then now, you know, obviously I can. It's a, what you see is what you get. Style editor. But I can drag. I can drag these things around. That was terrible. Um, but you can see there's this hand and I can kind of reposition things. And so instantly you can see there's a lot more flexibility in that specific regard. And then if I hit the, the drop down here, then I can uh, style some things and, and, and access some of those uh, similar features that I just saw in Weebly. Now I'm going to hit done save. Oh, I should have discarded those changes, but we'll keep them. Um, now let's jump into pages. So pages, you might say, well, wasn't I just, you know, there? No. So here's all my pages. Um, let's go over to a blog. Now remember, this is something that can't so let me keep, keep this. Um, this is something that you can't do uh, with Weebly, at least not with Weebly Weebly. You can do it with Weebly for designers. Uh, and I'll, I'll put a link to that video uh, below this video so you can get to that quickly as well to see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, here's your Squarespace blog. You can easily add new posts, um, you know, access, create new pages. Say we want to create a, a store page uh, with products or uh, an events page or, or just a blank page or let's use one of our page layouts. All right, so similar to the section concept, except uh, it's just the whole page. So maybe we want to do a page for, for customer reviews. 
or let's see, services. Um, and I'll go with I'll go with this style. All right. So here's our services page, and now I can pop in and I can edit all of our content and, and drag things around. And um, not only that, but uh, and also um, well, I thought I could add add blocks or my blocks. Okay. There we go. Here are my blocks. All right. So um, I can also add different types of content within the page. Right. So for and I haven't even gone into any of the the style and our design uh, tweaks yet. Um, but as you can see uh, with Squarespace, there's just a lot more in terms of. Uh, just being able to customize. And it's, it's funny to say that in regards to Squarespace because typically, depending on what platform you're comparing it with, uh, sometimes Squarespace gets labeled as the platform that you can't customize with. But um, in comparison to Weebly, you can see that there's uh, a, a, a lot more um, ability to do that. Um, and so there's also a lot more possibility to mess things up. So if you are more you know, inclined to want to tweak and, and play with things, then I think Squarespace is going to be uh, the route for you. Um, but if you are, you just want something that works and still looks good and gives you uh, as much um, commerce functionality as, as you would get with using the Square POS, then Weebly is going to be the, the way to go. And I think that's the final point that I, that I want to make is, and I'll jump back over to Weebly just to give you the perspective, um, is that Weebly, which is uh, now owned by Square, allows you to you know, really integrate. If you use a Square POS, then this is seamlessly integrated with Square, uh, which means you get all of the benefit of you know, tracking your inventory um, and doing that type of thing with Weebly, whereas with Squarespace, um, when it comes to, uh, you know, doing additional things on the commerce side, um, that's probably going to be a whole nother video. So I'm going to save uh, the, the commerce comparison for probably another video, but here you get to see the website editors and, and really just high level how they work and um, figuring out what's going to work for you. All right, so hopefully you found this video at least somewhat useful and you can uh, go on into your website building tool of choice. All right, um, that's all I got for you. Bye.